Good morning. Quick question for you. Is it time for you to put up the caution tape? The caution tape. Do you know what caution tape is? I'm going to show you real quick. And I want you to keep this picture in your mind or go back and watch it. Caution tape. Maybe the reason why you're not getting where you want and you're not seeing the success and results you want is because you don't have the caution tape. Caution tape. Have you seen this before? You seen this before? Caution. Caution. All right. Caution tape. Another one bites the dust in my neighborhood. Another tear down. Another remodel. You got the heavy equipment out? Time for a remodel. All right, listen to it. I'm going to keep walking. Just keep that in your mind if you need to go back to it. So my question to you is, you know, you're trying to remodel yourself and your health and your body. Get that weight off. Get your body back to where you know you have the potential to become. I think one of the biggest challenges and struggles that I see with people is that they fail to put up the caution tape. They fail to actually not just commit to making changes, not just decide to take action, but hey, good morning. But they decide to not put up the caution tape. So we're gonna talk about caution tape for the next couple of minutes. What the heck are you talking about, Mark? Caution tape. Well, you know what happens when they somebody buys a house and they do a remodel, right? You know what happens, right? Or they do a tear down. If you want to go back, I'm moving forward. I'm not looking back. I got to get back to the house. I got a full day ahead of me. But in my walk, I got inspired for this morning's talk. And if you like this, please do me a favor. The only thing I ask is that you share this. Share this to your page. Share this with your friends. Maybe you have a friend. Or maybe you're in the, the middle of a remodel in your body. A whole tear down. Maybe you need a whole complete renovation, so to speak. Right? Hope this illustration, maybe you're in the process of with that heavy equipment that's tearing your body down. Maybe you're in the process of dieting. Maybe you're in the process of taking care of your, your basic needs. Maybe this is the year that you're deciding to make change, right? Change is hard. I can imagine that house that I think has probably been up. Most houses around here have been, original houses have been here for 40, 50 years, our house is built in the 50s and a lot of these, and and they get old, they get run down, they get beat up. If you're feeling beat up and run down, do you feel my pain? Drop down below. If you catch this live, let me know you're here. If you're catching replay, do let me know that as well. And then most importantly, the only thing I ask if you find value in this, and trust me, I'm getting to the point, so give me just one moment, but before I do that, is if you share this post and let other people know that sometimes it takes today's message, caution. What is a caution? What do they do? Why do they put that caution tape, right? They're going to let people know that they're working, right? The caution tape is to let people know to be careful when you, you come around it because things are changing, things are happening, right? Now, like your body, like a house that goes through remodel, you got to kind of put some barriers around. You gotta put some external barriers. Maybe you have to push away some of those naysayers. Maybe you have to step away from the saboteurs. Maybe it's the snacks in your closet that you need to put caution tape around so that you don't go near that. Maybe you need to put caution tape around yourself. Maybe it's caution tape that you need to put around your mind. Think about this. I think one of the biggest, biggest struggles people have is letting their mind get in the way of their results, letting their mind get in the way of getting the weight off, letting their mind get in the way of becoming their absolute best. I know for me, it's one of the things that I struggle with. Tell you what, I let my mind get in the way it's way too often and I'm going to put some caution tape around the things that are trying to get in to block me from becoming my best. This morning, I did not, I can tell you, and I don't think Owen wanted to, it's about 38 degrees here. And I could have waited until it warmed up. 
I could have waited until maybe midday, but I have a full day and I probably would have skipped out, but I made a commitment to make changes in my life and in my health. And I made a commitment to changing. And in order for me to make that commitment, I had to put some cautionary tape. I had to put some cautionary tape around my mind. Now, I don't know what it looks like for you, but I can tell you sometimes in pursuing your best, in pursuing change, you're going to need to put some caution tape around like that house, right? That's going under a remodel. Does that make sense? Does that sound familiar? Was that helpful for you? So listen, I know like I, it's hard. I don't know if you've ever remodeled your house or maybe you even bought a house and tore it down and it is hard. It takes longer than you can expect. It's more expensive than you expect. There's a lot of challenges, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of things that don't go right, right? Just like when you're trying to renovate yourself and you're trying to renovate your body. And I know even my students who have a clear path, who have not just a clear path, they have accountability and support and they have structure. It still is a challenge, but I can tell you, just like you do when you, if you were to go and buy a house and you weren't an architect and you weren't a builder and you just started tearing down walls and said, you know what, I'll figure it out on the way. Let me just figure it out. Well, I'll, chances are it would be a house that would be a complete disaster unless you were an architect. You think of me when it comes to weight loss and people's fitnesses, I'm like your architect and I help you design what you need, the plans that you need to make the change that you need, just like a house being renovated and remodeled, right? You have to not only get the architect to build the plans, but then you have to get the permits and then you have to make the changes and you have to get the supplies and you have to get the tools and all the things that you need in order for you to have that renovation. So in a nutshell, do yourself a favor if you haven't yet. And maybe that's why even in week number three, we started out in January, that your new year's resolutions are already down the toilet, right? They already failed. You already stopped working out. You bought a gym and you only went one time and you said, no, I'm gonna go every day and things got in the way. And now you're disappointed. And now you're pissed off because the same thing is happening like last year. Maybe it's because you just didn't put those cautionary flags. Maybe you didn't just put that caution tape around the things that you need to. And sometimes it needs where you can get some help for that. I'm only one coach and I only have one program. And chances are I might not be the right fit for you. But if you don't have the help you need and you're realizing that you're going through the same dilemma you went through last year and you have the same struggles and you're going back to the same old ways and your body is feeling the same old miserable shape, and you still have the same weight you had on last year and the year before that and five years before that. My question to you is, when are you going to put the cautionary tape up? Maybe it's time.